I'm Felicity Hammond. I'm an artist based in South East London. I predominantly make work about the built environment and the computer-generated architectural propositions that imagine it. So my interest in gentrification, I think, really stems from a long period of time living in London, particularly in the run-up to the 2012 London Olympics, when I was living in Poplar at the time. I was very interested in the neighbourhood where my family grew up and lived and worked in East London, thinking about the factories where they worked and that are no longer there, and thinking about the housing that was, or oh, the huge amount of housing um, that was being built. I was thinking about who it was for, who it displaced. I started to become quite interested in how those images that I was making started to have quite an interesting relationship with the marketing images that were actually advertising the new housing. So there were all these kind of weird, impossible landscapes that don't exist, which then start to, it starts to fictionalise the whole process. So we start to kind of question well, how, you know, how much of this is true or how much of this is like a true reflection of what this, the future of the city will be. I think yeah, the absence of the absence of people is, is quite important. I think you know a lot of the work sort of deals with loss as well, and you know my own um, my own sense of loss in this particular landscape. You know, it's perhaps a, quite a romantic view, really. But I think about the industrial landscape that I never really saw, that I know that my father and grandfather you know played a huge role in, and you know they're no longer here. So I think about that loss and that absence, and how that might be reflected in the imagery as well. And perhaps that then extends, I think, to yeah, that that wider kind of political issue of. of people being displaced. My studio is in Sydenham, um, in South East London. I, I, I really enjoy being here. It sort of reminds me a little bit of where I grew up. It's sort of slightly on the outskirts and um, it's still I, the, the reason I like it is because it still has a huge amount of industry and because I'm a maker and I produce things. You know, I have a fabricator and um, you know right next to the studio there's a fabricator and a metal worker. Yeah, there's a, there's a seduction perhaps in the materials that I use and I think because and a lot of those materials are seductive on their sort of face value and I, I want to find a way to, yeah, to perhaps where the aesthetics of the work perhaps might draw one in but actually on closer inspection you sort of see these details that, that are totally embedded in loss and um, destruction and decay in the same way as I think that actually these, these advertising images are, they're kind of slick and perfect when you know, when we just sort of pass them, but when we look closer, they're pixelated and they're wrong, and actually there's car grime that covers them, and there's, they're ripped and they might have graffiti on them, and actually, this, you know, I, I, want, I want the process that, um, that I work with to sort of reflect that kind of material collision. Mm -hmm.